Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to my modern homestead. We are back in the kitchen today and I'm so excited and I am so glad you're here to join me. Today, we're going to build a bacon ranch and chicken pasta salad. So we're going to try to do this from scratch just as best as we can. So let me show you some of the ingredients we are going to use. Okay, of course, if we're going to make a chicken pasta salad, we need the pasta. I'm going to use the shells and some shredded chicken that I have in the freezer. We need to let this thaw. And we're going to use some dehydrated peas and some dehydrated carrots. Now, if you have bacon that you've canned or that you have in the freezer, you can use that or you can use um, this type of bacon bits or you can just go ahead and fry some bacon. I don't want to deal with that mess, so <laughs> we're just using that for today. Then I have my homemade ranch seasoning mix and my homemade seasoning salt. And I did this on a video just the other day. So you can go check that out. It does like to stick together, so you have to shake it up. Now, this is something I've never done before. Y'all, pardon my nails. My daughter's at the store right now going to get me something to take these off. But I'm going to try to make my own homemade mayonnaise. I don't know if it'll work or not. If it doesn't, hey, we've got mayonnaise in the refrigerator that we'll use, and you can do the same thing. So, while we're waiting on the chicken to thaw, let's go ahead and try to do the mayonnaise. Before we start on that, I'm going to put this chicken into a bowl of cool water to let it thaw. Alright, let's get busy. Okay, now I do not have a small bowl for my food processor, so I'm going to use my immersion blender and it came with this cup. So we're going to put our ingredients into there. We want to start with one large egg. Then we're going to use one tablespoon of white vinegar. Whoa, try to use one tablespoon. Then I found a recipe that said to use mustard as an emulsion um, ingredient to help it come together and on there, they used Dijon mustard. I don't have Dijon. Oh, my stars. <laughs> I don't have Dijon mustard, so I'm just using um, just a regular table mustard. And it should be one tablespoon. Let me get this mess cleaned up. Okay, then we want to add quarter teaspoon of salt and this is just the sea salt right. and we just want to kind of mix this up to begin with here we go this cord let's see now very slowly as we're mixing we're going to add in the vegetable oil or canola oil or grapeseed oil something that's a neutral flavor this is all I had so this is what we're using and you just want to very slowly 
just little drips to begin with, add it in. This, because we go so slow, the immersion blender gets really warm, so we're going to let this cool off. But as you can see, it's nice and creamy. I cannot believe I just made mayonnaise. <laughs> there you go. Let's let it sit in the fridge for a little while while the chicken finishes thawing out. It just takes a little time and patience. Okay, now let's measure out some pasta. There's two cups. That's probably enough, but I'm going to be out of town for a few days and I want to make extra for my family to have while I'm gone. So I'm going to use four cups. And once we start putting this together, I may say, hey, we don't need all that. So we'll see. Okay, to this, we're going to add about an eighth of a cup. Mm. A little more than an eighth of a cup of dehydrated carrots. about the same number of dehydrated peas. All right, y'all, let's get this pasta into the boiling water. Oh, before I do that, let's add a little salt to the water. Don't worry, you're not going to consume most of that salt. <laughs> All right, here we go. There we go. And we'll let it boil until the pasta is tender, probably around 10 minutes. Let's get our mayonnaise ready for the pasta. We're going to add some ranch seasoning mix. Ooh, a little bit clumpy, that's all right. And this, I don't know how to tell you how much to use. Just taste it as you go when you're mixing, mixing it in. If it's not enough, just add more. And just a little bit of the seasoning salt that we made. That's on the video with the herbs and tornadoes. <laughs> you can check that out if you want to see how to make it. Oh, this is so thick and creamy, y'all. Oh my goodness. Look at that. We did it. Mix that in. And then this will be all ready to go when our pasta is done. It's back there on the stove boiling. We've got just about four minutes left. 
So when it's done, I'll take it off the stove and drain it and rinse it in cool water to cool it down some. And then we'll put this together. Look at that. Looks just like store-bought. I tasted the mayonnaise before I put it into the refrigerator. Mm-mm-mm, y'all. It's way better than store-bought. And let me show you something. You might be wondering why. Why did I make mayonnaise? Isn't that a little extra? Well, can you see that ingredient right there? EDTA. That's an ingredient they've started adding to mayonnaise that you buy in the store. Look up that ingredient. I'm not super comfortable with that in the amounts that we consume mayonnaise around here. So, just a little bit of encouragement if you want to know why. That's my why. Mm, I can't wait for this to get done. Okay, while we wait on the pasta, let's go ahead and add the chicken into the bowl. This is leftover chicken from a couple of chickens that we actually grew here on our homestead and cooked. I'm going to add this mayonnaise. All right, and we just got to add the pasta. Okay, we have our pasta all rinsed and cooled off. I think we're just going to add it all right in there. Why not? All right. In goes the bacon and you guys if you want to add tomatoes to this just use some little cherry or grape tomatoes and you have yourself a BLT salad with chicken in it of course just get it all mixed in and that's all there is to it completely homemade lunch from scratch. So satisfying and rewarding. Okay, let's put some in a little bowl. And y'all serve this alongside with some fresh fruit and a salad. And you have yourself a great meal. Let's taste it. Mm. That's really good, y'all. Our tomatoes, our cheese. Sounds perfect to me. Thank you all so much for joining me. You know I love it when you come and spend a few minutes with me. So, until we meet again, may you be blessed. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. <laughs>